good Saturday morning to you. Welcome into a fresh hour of Sports Center. I'm Jade McCarthy, Randy Scott. He will join us in just a moment. We got you covered across the country on this rivalry weekend from the Civil War in Oregon all the way east to the Iron Bowl in Alabama. You remember what happened last year. Uh, that is where we start, Randy. 10 o'clock in the East, continuing on a live Sports Center on this game day. I'm Jade McCarthy, Randy Scott, joining us in just a moment, but check it out. Yeah, we got you covered across the country on this rivalry weekend from the Civil War in Oregon all the way to the Iron Bowl in Alabama. Uh, we all remembered what happened just one year ago, right? The Iron Bowl. It is where we start, Randy. Style points, Thurban Meyer, style points. That team from up north is in town and the committee is watching. There's some history to play for. With a win today, the Buckeyes will become the first Big Ten team to go unbeaten in three straight regular seasons in conference play since Minnesota did it. Uh, that was in the 1930s. Those are memories from way back. But it's the future and not the past that's on Meyer's mind. Next week's Big Ten championship, that is key. But style points, they could be too. Todd Luganville has more from the horseshoe. SEC blogger Chris Lowe this morning. So the Tide look to roll with their 16th straight win at home. Chris, let's start under center with the quarterback Blake Sims. Why has he fared so much better at Bryant-Denny Stadium this season? Let's talk some percentages, shall we? A 69% chance. That is what the College Football Power Index gives the Tide a chance of topping the Tigers tonight. And if you stay in the SEC, well, Mississippi State, they have a 42% chance of topping in-state rival Ole Miss in the 111th playing of the Egg Bowl. The Football Power Index, they like the chances of the number three school in the playoff picture. Yeah, Florida State with a 73% chance to extend that streak to 28 straight wins as they take on Will Muschamp's Gators. But look, when you've won six straight and three in a row by nearly 23 points per game, I guess, you know, you get some favoritism by the power index because Oregon has a 90% chance of defeating Oregon State. Mike Riley is with Holly Rose. And the ax behind you, Randy. That was great. Our college football insider, uh, Brett McMurphy, back with us. All right, big injury question here for the Golden Gophers in this one. What are you hearing about David Cobb and that strained left hamstring, Brett? Yeah, officially he's listed as questionable. I've been told it will be a game time decision on whether he goes. Obviously he dealt with that injury last week in Minnesota's win over Nebraska, which uh, brings us to the Huskers and Bo Pelini's job. Look, uh, he rallied and, th and they beat Iowa yesterday. Uh, when might we hear about Pelini's future here? Well, their athletic director hasn't spoken publicly about Pelini, but you know, Bo has won nine games for seven. Uh, right now he is uh, spending his time uh, learning things <laughs> in the NFL, but not playing in the NFL with the Browns organization. Brett McMurphy, always with the tidbits for us here on SportsCenter.